back to some more Fulton Miss Ball for today. We're continuing on Let's Play. This is episode 49. Today's episode, we are taking a look at the Eclipse and Tank Club. For that, we need an Eclipse or Talon, and well, we're using a Mitsubishi Eclipse. Uh, the car we're using today is going to be the 1995 Mitsubishi Eclipse GSX. Because I don't think I have any Infinity Award for. God, Jesus Christ, what is that colour? Yes. It's called and colour. That, oh. that is a colour. Anyways, body kits. Oh, that is... That is hmm. a Corvette front bumper. I, I want the Corvette exactly front bumper. you were going for. That is... I mean, it is a... It is a pretty good colour. Jesus Christ alive. Oh, God. I, I can't make this thing look so unbelievably sad. I kind of... <laughs> I, I can't look at that. Why has the Eclipse got such awful, like, I'll go for, actually no, go for that because it's a bit more ground It's because the Eclipse is an awful car. It is not a good car in fairness. Now it looks like a Corvette. Uh, yes, no, I don't have any affinity for Ecl Eclipse, any affinity for Mitsubishi, so we'll just leave it as is, I think. It should be fine. It looks great on the stock wheels, don't at me. Anyways. Uh, Eclipse and Talon Club, an event celebrating all-wheel drive Eclipse and Talon Sports Coupe. He wants me to upgrade the car. I think we'll put weight reduction in it because that's cheap. Unless I can engine swap an Evo engine into it. No, I can, but it makes it B-class. Never mind. Wap, wap, wap. Wap, wap, wap. That one. Why must you do this? Because the Eclipse is a terrible card that needs to be sinned for being worse than the Sleeker. <clears throat> the Eclipse really, like, only got good in, like, its last year of existence. So Cooper Short Circuit. That, like, 4th generation looked kind of cool. The 4th gen, yeah, it's so underrated, the 4th gen, isn't it? I like how blobby it is. It's a good-looking car. It is a good-looking car. You can get it with like 280 horsepower or something. Yeah, did you, did you, did you uh, see those last edition models? The ones that had like the little carbon bits on them and stuff? They look even better. No, but that sounds incredible. They do look quite good. Nice. I, I wish we got <laughs> the Eclipse. Actually, what I think we, we might have done for a year and then it went away. Yeah, we probably got the Gen 3 or whatever. No, we got this Gen. Oh, did we? Yeah, because yeah, Mitsubishi gave up in the... 90s. Also, Basically. hey, remember when there was a first gen eclipse? Oh, sorry, second gen eclipse, because, yeah. Yeah, no, no one the remembers first the first gen. No one knows what it looks like. I couldn't even tell you what it looks like. Um. It's. Um. It had pop ups, didn't it? Yeah, it has pop ups. It's kind of square. It's like the first gen GTO. 3000 GT ish. It, it, it looks American. A bit. Um. We. <laughs> uh. Uh. It has wheels and tyres. Um. The top model had 200 horsepower? Sounds about right. Um. I like that in Japan, apparently. Like, everything went from 200 horsepower to gave, like, another 100. Yeah, the Ecl I mean, to be fair, the Eclipse was, like... The the problem with the Eclipse is it was, like, such a, like it, it had no purpose of existment. Existment. Existment, yeah. yes. It never went racing or anything, did it? Not to my knowledge. But if it did, it didn't do very well, hence why we've never heard about it. Mm -hmm. um, and, like, the FTO exists. And the FTO does everything the Eclipse does, but it's lighter. But with more V6. Yes. Well, less V6, actually. Well, more power. Mm hmm Well, actually, I mean, this one's got a turbo and, like, 215 horsepower, but that had, like, a naturally aspirated V6 and 200, so... Probably mm. a lot lighter. Yeah, no, we got uh, some Mitsubishi sports cars, because, like... We like kept importing FTOs, and Mitsubishi was like, "Right, we're going to sell the FTO," and then we bought no FTOs, 
and they gave us the 3000 GT for a few years, and then that died. Yeah, I see an FTO whenever I go up to my dad's. There's a modified one around here with a Velsail kit on it, it looks fucking atrocious. Oops. It also has a ridiculous exhaust on it. And I don't think it's the V6, unless the V6 just sounds anus. Which it might do. Yeah, it's Mitsubishi. Probably the weakest of all the Japanese automakers, let's be honest. Yeah. Well, they are called the Chrysler of Japan. Are they? Yeah. I mean, to be fair, they did work they with Chrysler, so it makes sense. Yeah, it'd be a bit weird to call them the GM of Japan. No, GM of Japan's... Toyota? I mean, they the own, GM like, the they GM own like, Daihatsu and, like, most of... I think yeah, they own pretty... Daihatsu and, like, a part of, like, every other Japanese automaker, so... Apart from... They also... They... Also have their own city. They do. Literally called Toyota City. Yes, and they made it because Toyota. Pretty much. A lot of them do that though. I think Honda has their own. City. Oh no! I've just seen it. I've just seen something on Facebook. The wedding of Bobby Lashley and Lana. Oh God! Oh yes. Do you want to know what I predict? I predict that she will say. It's not you who I want to marry, it's this man that I want to marry, and out comes Vince McMahon. <laughs> no chance, cause that's what you got. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Vince would probably... Yeah. Yeah, I mean... All bets are off. Isn't it weird how Bobby Lashley cooking Rusev is probably the best love storyline they've got going on right now? It's the worst fucking storyline of all time. Mate. This is worse mate, than what Vince Russo sweetheart, has done. Sweetheart. The current storyline on SmackDown that's a love relationship is Otis being given ham. Hey, at least and that's being, a storyline. being sad because his fruitcake got smashed up. His fruitcake? Yeah, he gave Mandy Rose a fruitcake and Bobby Roode stepped on it. Oh. Righty. Or Dolph Ziggler, I don't know, they're the same person, I think. Who fucking knows. Why is Dolph Ziggler still in the <laughs> I couldn't tell you. Hey, do you remember when Dolph Ziggler was having it off with Lana? Hello. Hello? It's Goshen. Is it me you're looking for? No. I can see it in your eyes. We. Twin ring Motegi West circuit. They did have that Wait. wild 3000 GT convertible thing with the awesome automatic collapsible roof that was £75,000 in... Yeah. Yeah. The Japanese severely overpriced their cars in the 90s, although I think part of that was due to... taxes. Oh my god, is that a Supra? No, it's an Eclipse with the front end of a Corvette C6. No, it's a Tudor. <laughs> it's also in... Um, a color? Yes, it is in and color. Oh, uh, I, I should explain why I was late, shouldn't I really? I had to go yeah. shoe shopping. Oh, God. On Amazon. Ooh, Ooh oh, God. Shit. Actually, no, but at least it's better than spending nine hours looking at shoes. Yeah, but the, the, the ones you bought light up. No, no, hold on. You, you forget, Fucking you, you're perfect. forgetting the word. Are they Heelys? You, you're forgetting the thing about this. What? When I say shoe shopping, I've owned the same pair of shoes, or rather, the same style of shoe for the last seven years, and continue to buy the same one over and over and over again. So I was actually just shopping for one sort. Of I shoe. have. I wear the same shoes. Oh, you like me with last seven years. Hell yeah. Yeah, I just buy like gazelles, but I just change the color every couple of years. Yes. You say you say that Emil. I've wear the same shoes for the past seven years. Nice. <laughs> the final oh, board, actually, Sky Sports airs tonight, and then it goes to BT. I bought what did I get? Gazelles, and they're like aqua and white. It's quite a cool color. I think they're called like five five tens or something like that. There's like every color for gazelles at the moment. Shit. There's like purple and black ones that like burn your retinas out. So, that was fun. Oh, Scotian, you missed something earlier. Yeah. 
Booster Tank was the most redneck person he knows, and then literally everyone just turned around and was like, Scotian has an F-150 and a four-wheeler. Literally everyone, I think and it was Challenger. just you. And the Hard Rock <laughs> CDs, you know. Yeah, I forgot you existed. He's the most problem. redneck person, and he's Canadian. Because, like, every American we know isn't really all that American. No, they're too northern. Which well, is why LLC's, we get further up north. Uh, uh, LLC's fucking... just on his own little fucking planet. <laughs> of weirdness. I don't know what the fuck goes on in, you know. <laughs> That's like some weird, are not, like... Are you talking about this server in particular? Yeah. Um, who else do we know that's American? Uh, I confused Rhino. the Americans with the Canadians, because we've got loads of Canadians. Rhino's American, game was American. Rhino, has, Rhino does have a Camaro and a wife beater, so... Oh, God. This is true. Game Wiz, I don't know. He's just there. Yeah, I like Game Wiz. We're probably going to speak again in like a year's time when he pops back in. <laughs> <laughs> what else have we got? We got Sean, who's just modern day American, because Cobalt, Full Speed Auto. Um, I want to count Angel, but he's never here anymore, so. Angel's yeah. just, again, Angel Angel's got the LRC thing where he's just on his own little special weird planet. Yes. Because Angel's like, he's not quite weeb, but kinda, a bit. Sure. Because he, yeah, I don't know. Have we got more Canadians than Americans? No. Probably. No, we've got like three? Canadians? Yeah. We got more than one of them. Uh, Chicane. We have Chicane. Oh, yeah, Chicane's just, he lives in LA, so that doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> he sent LA me a video, he sent me a video yesterday of him watching a guy get spaced out on a fucking bus stop and he was just trying to have, like, an invisible fight with someone. We have... Nice. <laughs> he, have... he just sends yeah. me, like, random videos of, like, people falling over and stuff in LA. It's great. <laughs> It's just like the fucking mecha wasteland. Oh, <laughs> it's so weird. God. Oh, actually, that's, just, not the, that's not the best bit about that, by the way. I might I'm be just, back later, by the way. Alright. Okay. Okay. I'm just reading an article by LBC. Uh, a vegan who claims he was sacked due to his ethical beliefs is demanding a court recognize veganism as a protected category similar to religion. <laughs> okay. See, you're just reminding me of that fucking uh, house video I was watching earlier. Where there was like a guy on Tinder who was like vegan. And someone asked him about it, he was like, yeah, I'm vegan, but I'm on my cheat year. And she was like, what? <laughs> oh yeah, that was Veganism? great. Veganism? <laughs> yeah, and she was like, what do you mean cheat year? And he was like, I have a cheat year. Every year. <laughs> so she's like, so you're not vegan? So she's like, you're not vegan? Yeah, I am. But you have a cheat year? Yeah. So what do you eat on your cheat year? Meat and stuff. So you're not vegan. MEAT IS MURDER! <laughs> it's great. I'm just, I'm just looking at this guy. I just want to get Tinder just to see how many people I can irritate at this point. <laughs> yeah, say, I'm a, I'm a vegan, but I eat burgers. Yes. I'm that a vegan meal. apart from the fact that I eat meat occasionally. I'm vegan, but I'm subscribed to Boost and Ethanol. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Boost and Ethanol is so much man, you need all the meat. Circuit to Catalonia School Circuit. Emil. Yes, sir. You can't even talk to a person on Tinder. How are you going to do that? What? He's got a point. You can barely talk to a person on Tinder. How are you going to do? Get uh, irritate people on Tinder? Well, he did kind of find someone on Tinder, and then they disappeared. I just spent like you six people on Tinder. They all yeah. disappeared? Yeah, they all fucking killed themselves. No. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> In fairness, I gave up on one of them personally. <laughs> was it laser oh. eyes? Sorry, what? Oh, that was on an advice- no, that was on advice for a friend. There was just like, fucking, like, there was this- like the setup was good and everything, and it was just like haha, and she was like dump that bitch. I was like, yeah, got you. <laughs> so laser, no laser eyes. I can't even remember what happened to that one. 
Those fell for cliff conversations really boring. Oh, I figured something out yesterday, but I can't speak about that on stream. Boo. Yeah, I know. Tragic, you know. Hiss. Hiss. Leafy's been dead yeah. for like four years, mate. I'm sorry to tell you. Wait, what? <laughs> Literally, you Well, he's not been dead dead. He just like went away and never came back. Okay, no, because I could have believed that he was. Because again, dead. he was like one of the only smart YouTubers. What he do you mean by smart? Well, he didn't spend much of the money he earned when he was like famous, and, and like he had a four million sub channel that got like three, four billion views. So apparently, he was raking in like fucking like almost quarter of a million a month and barely like improved oh, his lifestyle. So he basically still just lives off the YouTube revenue. He literally had a conversation with Keemstar where he's like, I haven't even bought like a car yet. <laughs> Apparently yeah, he just really does he's really averse to spending his money, which is quite nice when you think about it really. The person who everyone perceives to be like a YouTube dumbass is actually like the only person that doesn't blow all their money within a year and die. Like extras. <laughs> Anyone remember what happened to him? Who? Oh, Call of Duty YouTuber who started doing cocaine and driving the Ferrari California and lost it all within 12 months. It's impressive. What a fucking loser. Yeah, that's what happened. I think he was like 21 in Venice, so... Then again, Leafy was like 20. Leafy hasn't been seen forever. Yeah, he's still around, but like, he just doesn't... He just like... I think he says he's investing his money as well. He does like stocks and shares and shit, so he's actually doing quite well. Well, at least, well, at least people aren't sending him death threats anymore. Well, he says he's um, extra. Or hell yeah, um, it, he's he did the smart thing. Like he just sort of kept to himself, went away, and did his thing. Yeah. But, yeah. No. Apparently, he still like speaks to people and stuff occasionally. He said about making a video and stuff. The issue he had apparently is he was just, like. He saw like the sub like gains and stuff as a number and basically got attracted to it, so the moment like he got pulled away from it he just sort of lost all motivation, which is quite mm. nice. Yeah. And that happens to the best of us. I don't particularly care about numbers, I just do it. So what well, Lovelin? I'm sorry if I butchered that name. Extra numbers Yeah, the Call of Duty YouTube drama back in the day used to be aced. Does anyone remember I Fly Illini? No. Oh, he's a Call of Duty YouTuber who was a military pilot, and uh, then he got kicked out of the military because he was on gay chatterbait. <laughs> okay. And then he got, like, exposed or something for, like, stealing videos or something, and that was the end of that. Different times, I guess. I'll say. There was also FPS Russia. He was grim. He went to prison recently. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Two months for weed. That's not too bad. And then had like $400,000 worth of his guns destroyed. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, White Boy 7th Street. Yeah, that... I never watched him. I never bothered with him. I sort of stuck to like what I knew. It's like Wings of Redemption. I never used to watch him back in the day. I watch a lot of him now because it's funny. But... Yeah. Oh, it's not quite as funny anymore. He's not telling Damn. people to look here, look, listen anymore, or anything like that. Damn. He still rage quits, like, streams and shit, though, so that's cool. Look here, look, listen! Pairing okay. offline does not what? fucking stop it, so stop giving advice you know nothing about. If you don't know what Wings of Redemption is, down the rabbit hole, Frederick Knudsen. It's a really good series. I like how small the wheels look on this thing when it's in motion. It's great. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Next time we are returning back to Honda because for some reason they decided to split the Civic Club from the Integra Club. Join us for that. Until then, farewell.
Eyes on this little yo father with love.